Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? It's okay. It's okay? What did you do today? I worked hard all day. Oh, what do you do, Camila? I'm a researcher. A research? A research. Uh -huh. For? For the university. A university. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. All right. And Patricia, what about you? What did you do today? I work out all day. Okay. What do you do, Patricia? Um, I'm coming here in the class. Mm -hmm. But in the day, what do you do? Do you do you work at home? Do you are in the office? I, I work at I work at, at home. Okay, okay, perfect. All right. And Arturo, what about you? What did you do today? Hi. And today I I work. And then um, nothing new, just definitely work and some stuff in my house. And I was watching the the uh, the interview of the president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I think that's all. Okay, thank you very much, Arturo. Thank um, you for asking. Great. Now, as you can see, the question is so that we can help us review yesterday's topic. Yesterday's topic was passive and active. In this moment, the answer from the three people was active. The reason is active because we focus on the people. We focus on Arturo. We focus on Patricia. We focus on the, we focus on the person who did the action. Ah, I worked, Claudia said, okay. Ah, I, I watched the, the, the interview, Arturo said, okay. These are for active, okay. Camila, do you remember what is the passive? Yes, it's when the action, the, the uh, subject recites the action. Or the subject not recites the, uh, the action. Okay, Kami, the, the subject doesn't receive the action or the subject receives the action? The subject doesn't receive the action. Okay, all right. So it's, when, it's almost, it's when the subject doesn't do the action, when the mm -hmm. subject doesn't do the action. Mm -hmm. So when we say active is because Arturo does the action, Arturo watches, Patricia works, okay? Uh, you uh, participate, this is active. The passive is when you receive the action or when you receive the situation, this is the passive form, okay? So as an example, uh, today Arturo cooked lunch. Oh, wow, it's amazing. But maybe it's not important that Arturo cook, only important the lunch. So many times they say, ah, lunch, is prepared, lunch is served, lunch is ready, or the breakfast, right, or the dinner. But the important is the action and the food, not is important who cooked it. Does, does that make sense? Okay, let me give you an example. I look at Cesar, and Cesar, his hair looks nice. Okay, Cesar, you have nice hair. Don't worry. No, no, no. Really, really. It's okay. Don't worry. It's not for... Okay, Cesar. Thank do you. you. You're welcome. Cesar, do you cut your hair? Uh, no, I I have a plan to maybe the, this uh, this uh, weekend, no, this next weekend I maybe go to the air cut. Oh, what is the name of this? Barber shop. Barber, hey, barber shop. shop. Yes. And because, so, 
because I, I, I have a long hair. Yeah. I need a, yes, yes. And Cesar, do you, who cuts your hair? What is the name of the person? Uh, barber. You don't know the name? Any no. barber? Maybe, yeah. may, maybe it's Arturo. Maybe it's Arturo the name. Anyway. <laughs> now, this example is the passive, like Cesar mentioned. Because for Cesar, the objective is the hair cut. Not the objective is who cuts the hair. The objective is, ah, have the cut, have the work, have the action completed. But it's not important for Cesar, who does the action? Who cuts the hair? Who completes it? Only is important for him, this. This is the passive. Does, is that okay? It's, it's just to help us remember and to make sure it's clear, the difference between the two. Or is there, are there any questions or, or it's okay for everyone? For me, it's okay. Teacher. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm Vanessa. And when you say, uh, I, I have a doubt. When you say cook, uh, cook or dinner is prepared, right? Is it the passive? Correct. Mm -hmm. You say dinner was prepared. Mm -hmm. What is the, I mean, what is the difference or what kind of sentence is the second one? Dinner was prepared. Ah, for example, uh, maybe you are in a meeting or maybe you are in a, a family celebration or, and someone prepared the food or you went to a restaurant. This is the mm -hmm. important. This is when you say, ah, or, or maybe Vanessa, you go to church. And in the church, when you finish the church, they, they offer the food. But f for the people, it's not important who prepared the food. Only important is the action. Ah, the food was prepared. For example, the food was prepared for the poor. The food was prepared for the needy. This is the, the mm -hmm. action is important, but not the people. If you want to include the people, then we use the word by. Ah, the food was prepared by Cesar, Patricia, Camila. Then you can use, okay? Or by the people from the church, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, but but just say dinner is prepared. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that means the action is is already is ready. You don't have to you don't have to cook. You don't have to make it. Okay. So imagine that you are my wife. Okay. And normally you prepare the dinner. But today I bought, I bought Chinese or I bought Burger King. I said, Vanessa, dinner is prepared. Because it's, it's not served, it's not in the plates, it's not in the form, but it is ready. It is ready to eat. This is when you use, it's prepared. Okay. Okay. So, one more time, when we use the passive and the active, always the person does the action, the active. The person receives the action or only focuses on the action, this is the passive. If you want to include the person, is obligation the usage of the word by. We are okay? Okay, good, good. That way, that way I make sure that you work in the platforms and you are con continuing, okay. Now, let's take a look. Uh, Ligia, do you like museums? Do you go to the museums? Uh, yes, I like it. Okay, which museum do you visit? I like, uh, I went to Amsterdam the, about two years ago, so I went to museum about the, the painter, I, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And the, in Colombia, 
I went to museum about, uh, I don't remember the, the name of the museum. Oh, wow. But it's in the center of Bogota. Okay. All right. Now, it's very good, Leah, that you got to these museums because today the topic is the different unusual museums. Okay. Here, I'm going to share with you my screen is the same for you in your platform. This is the 1.10. Why 1.10? Because yesterday was the idea for the passive in 1.9, which is the review that we did. Okay. So we already completed the other activities and today we are beginning and going to finish the unit one. In 1.10 we have unusual museums, okay? So we have, okay, I'm going to share so that we can read. Can everybody see? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. I need three volunteers, one to read the, oh, sorry, four volunteers, one to read the introduction and number one, one to read number two, the other for number three, and the other for number four. I Who want to participate. Thank you, Vane. Vane, can you please read the introduction, a guide, and number one? Uh, one moment, just one moment. Who is going to read number two? Oh, excellent. Thank you for volunteering. We have, there's number two. Good. Who's going to read number three? Me. Oh, okay. Wait, yes. One read number three and the other one reads number four. Perfect. Me. No. Me, yeah. Okay. Number four. All right. Let's. All right. Let's begin. A guide to unusual initial museums. Look at the pictures and scan the article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A working factory? Historic cooking tools? Number one, do you like museums? Have you been to the Louvre in Paris, the Museum of Tropology in Mexico City, or any of those other must-see museums? Well, now it's time to go off the beaten path. Thank you very much. Are there any words or expressions you don't understand? Be beaten path. Good. The beaten path is, is time to go off the traditional uh, ways or off the traditional forms. So, mm. for example, in El Salvador, the, the typical for San Salvador is Paseo El Carmen, eh, Pupusa en Quilta, eh, Planet de Rendero. This is the normal. Off the beaten path is, oh, let's go to a place that is not so normal for tourists, for example, more uh, for locals or things like this. Okay. Okay, good. You. You're welcome. Anybody else? This is the moment for ask for number one. Okay, number two, please read. Okay, um, the Kinti Museum, Seoul, Korea. Oops. I, it's so big, I don't know how I did that. But there, sorry. Okay, uh, if you don't know about Kinti, a trip to the Kinti Museum is an a open experience. The museum was for them in the uh, 11th, 18th, to a Haiti, Haiti? I, it, it, okay, it's 1986 19, to highlight. To highlight. Uh, Korean right kinti culture. The exhibit includes display of the cooking utensils and materials Relate to making, storing, and the aging, the famous between mm -hmm. beautiful. The museum also provides delays about the story and the natural 
benefits of Scrum must follow side dish. Finally, stop be the top souvenir shop to the try various types of the kimchi. Okay, thank you very much. There's a few words that we need to work on for the pronunciation, but very good, I, we understood. Um, I, will exp I will read it later and then we can have those words so you can see. But first, are there any words that you don't understand? Kimchi is a food. Kimchi is a food. It's similar to the, not exactly, but it's similar for the pupusas that you put on the pupusas. Mm -hmm. The difference is that uh, the kimchi, the preparation is different, but the, the, the ingredient is the same, is the cabbage. This is the main ingredient. Any other words? Storing, what's the meaning? Ah, uh, storing is like to saving or uh, maintaining. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other words? It was piclet, piclet. What, what did ah, mean? pickled. In El Salvador, we, we use a lot of pickled. For example, we have for the pupusas, pickled cabbage for the some people eat pickled papaya um sometimes pickled radishes in the salvador people like a lot pickled is when they they here we put with with vinegar normally the pickled but some people put with lemon mm -hmm. thank you yeah. you're welcome you're welcome are there any other words Okay, great. Then number three, can you please read? Me? I think. Yes, I think yes, Romulo. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. If, if you want to see the beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. It holds one of the South American most stunning collections because the exhibits sparkle so brightly. You can actually take photographs without using a flash and your camera. Not everything is made of gold, thought. Among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, known as chumbaga. Mm -hmm. Thank you, very good. Are there any words you don't know? It's tuning, it's tuning and sparkly um, brightly. Okay. We have stunning is like amazing or incredible. This is a stunning collection, an incredible collection. Sparkle is like uh, the light, like the diamond. That It's like a, mm, when you have a diamond and you see the light, oh, it shines. This is the sparkle. Okay. And then uh, brightly is very strong, the light. Okay. Any other words? Okay. Uh, number four, can you please read? Okay, the Cologne Museum, uh, the Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate, from cocoa beans to candy bears. You learn about chocolate mm -hmm. 
three mills years history and discovered how it was once you save money in South America. A real chocolate factory show you how chocolate is made. After you finish you, uh, the tour, you can sample to complimentary drink a rich goy pure chocolate. Perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Good. Only the number. The number is pronounced 3,000. Okay. 3,000. But very good. Are there any words you don't know? Um, yeah, goy. Ah, gooey is like, um, um, let me think, almost like a, like bubble gum is that it stretches that you can take and you can go, oh, this is gooey. Like in the pupusas, when we have the pupusas of cheese, okay, the people yeah. like, or in the pizza, the people like gooey, the cheese. They, oh, look, it's very long. So here the idea is the gooey pure chocolate that the that the chocolate is very delicious but is is strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? Okay, Kinga. perfect. Then let me get out of this one. All right, so that means that now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, now that we have read with our partners, we're going to answer those six questions, okay? We're gonna make sure that we understand what we are reading and we have a good comprehension. So we're gonna make small groups and answer the questions. If you do not have the questions, it's okay. I'm going to put into the WhatsApp chat for you, or if you want to use the platform, you can go to the platform 1.10. Okay. It's okay? Yeah, teacher, uh, uh, well, yes. I, I, I couldn't uh, join to the, the WhatsApp group. Ah, uh, okay, Romo. Oh. Mm, okay, is, is anybody here in the WhatsApp group? Or sorry, is anybody here using their cell phone to receive the class? No. Yes, teacher. <laughs> no. Yes, who said yes? Me, Arturo. Okay, Arturo, can you put can you put the link for the WhatsApp group in here in the chat? Then Romulo can, can join. Okay. Okay, Romulo. Okay, Ar thank you. you uh, mm -hmm. No problem. So Arturo put here and then only you click on the link and then you can join the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier. Okay. Anybody else? Any Any other questions? No. Okay, I let's make our Arturo. When you have the moment, you put it, and then I share with Romulo in case. Now let's make our partners and answer those questions for the reading.
Uh, hello. The first is when you go of the being beating path, you um yes, uh, I um I think is do do something unusual. The number uh, the number one is the first choice. Um, the next, the number two, when yes, so for for history, it's true. Yeah. So it's two. When something is found, found it, it is discovered. Or no, uh, I think if found the if found the when started. something is found there, it has started. It, it started. started. Yes. Yes. The number three. When something is stunning, it is extremely uh, attractive or large. I think it is attractive. Attractive, yes. Yeah. Uh, for when some, something is ancient, ancient, it is ancient. 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 Thank you, Charles. It is. Yes. Very old. Very old. Something is ancient, is very old. Very old. Yeah. And number five, when something is complementary, it is. Uh, teacher, in this, in this, no, in this question, mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand. I, I know it's free of charge, of charge but. Uh, because, why? Is complementary free of charge? Yes. Something that is complementary is free of charge. It's like um, maybe you go to a restaurant and they give you free, I don't know, free drink or a free salad or a free dessert. It's complementary. This is complementary. Yes. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Number six, when something is going... It is Goe. gooey, gooey, gooey. Mm -hmm. It is thin and stick. Refreshing, thin and stick. That basically the only time that can they can uh, practice the English just in the class. Well, when I uh, I'm working, basically I'm trying to practice my English because. Uh, I have a lot of foreign people, or, well, not people, co-workers that uh, just speak English and I speak with them trying to understand them and try to... Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Let me, let, let me, I, if I can... Found. I don't remember, but yes. We are finished. We're the finished. Chair. Excellent. Okay, perfect. I just want mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody's great. Are there any yes. questions? Are there any questions for the reading or any vocabulary? Uh, we have a problem with a word that is found mm -hmm. because I I thought that was like uh, you find something. So we put uh, discover it. Uh, because right. I associate the <laughs> word with fine. Ah, uh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. But then it was it was wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's because it, it looks or it looks like a Spanish word that you could say oh found it or or something <laughs> like with find because you associate. Yes. But uh huh. Mm -hmm. but, yes. Okay. Oh, no problem. That's good. That's a good job, though. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me just check to the other groups to make sure everybody's complete, and then we continue, okay? Okay. All right. Free or cherished or the rest answer? I think the answer is 
complimentary, something is come. Hi, Hi teacher. Hey, Lija, Blanca. Hey, hello. Hi, hey, teacher. I finished the... The exercise. The platform. Yes. yes. Ah, excellent. Then let's go back. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions? No. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, Romulo, there is the link that Arturo was going hey, to- Hey guys, I think I shared the, the link of the group. Yes, 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 that's good. For in case somebody doesn't have the, the WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Arturo. You're welcome. All right. Well, if it's clear for everyone, that's wonderful. That means we can go ahead and continue. Now we're going to continue and begin our lesson 2.0, okay? And in the lesson 2.0, what do we begin to see? We begin to see the past continuous and simple past. Do you know the difference between the two? When is a, what is a past continuous or what is a simple past? Mm. Okay. So the past continuous, for those that are not sure, is when we use the verb to be in the past, was or were, but we also complement it with the verb in ing, okay? So we use was or were, and then we use the word with ing, okay? So that's the past continuous. I was working, we were studying, I was playing, okay? So we can use whatever word you want. Let's continue but in the past, exactly. Okay. So, then we have the past simple, okay? Or, or what many people say also is the simple past, okay? Do you know what is the simple past? When you use the verb um, with ed. Okay, very good. When we use the verb with ed. Mm -hmm. ed. Good, that's right. So when we have this is normally, for the regular verbs, it's ed, okay? For the irregular verbs is you have to memorize it. You have to know for the list. I'm writing in the chat so that everybody can see and have a better understanding. Past continuous is was or were plus ing, okay? The example, was playing or were studying. And then we have the simple past, is only ed. Now, the difference is that one of the actions, the past continuous, means that the action is not finished or is not completed. The simple past means the action was completed, was finished. So in this moment, we're going to go to our groups. We're not going to worry about the grammar structure, but you are going to tell your partners or the, the people in your group what you did yesterday, what you were doing last weekend, or what you were doing at a specific time, okay? So as an example, yesterday, okay? Uh, Omi, what did you do yesterday? I was working. Okay. Now, this is good. I was working. But I was working, we use with more information because it's necessary to indicate, as an example, the time. I was working at five o'clock or I was working all day, for example. 
because it is the past continuous, the ING is for action that is not completed for a period of time. But for example, or yesterday only, I worked. I worked at home, I worked in my office, whatever you want. This is what we're going to do with our partners. We don't want to worry about it, the structure and the things. First, we want to practice about. So we're going to ask questions. As an example, I'm going to have a small conversation with Camila. Camila, okay, it, what did you do on Saturday? Uh, I took a drink for lunch. Oh, delicious. Ah, mm. where, where did you learn to cook? I am, um, my mom learned uh, to me. Okay, good. My mom taught me. Okay, very good. This is it. It's just a little conversation. Depend what Camila says. I ask more questions or Camila asks me. Remember, the questions to ask in the past tense, always we can use the questions we use, we can have with WH plus did, okay, plus the person, and then we have the verb in present, okay? And the last part is the complement. If you are not sure, it's in the chat. Remember, it's in the chat, the information for how to complete it. So we're going to go with our partners and we're just going to take a few moments and work on the fluency. Work on fluency, asking questions in past, answering, depend the situation, past simple or past continuous. It's okay or do you need another example? It's okay. Okay, perfect. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to change partners. That way we have the opportunity to practice with other people. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Cesar, are you okay? Are you having some problems? Okay. Maybe uh, the lady first. The lady first? Oh, you are a gentleman. <laughs> okay. Um, yesterday, I finished my reporter for my bus. Uh, and uh, which about the reporter is? Oh. Okay. What do you do? The uh, fear, fear days? Blanca, repeat the question, Blanca. What do you do on Friday afternoon? Okay, good. Uh, mm -hmm. I. On, on Friday, I don't remember. One moment, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on Friday, on Friday, I ah uh, on Friday, I was uh, I was working uh, all day. Really? Really? And I drink. I drank my coffee at afternoon. And only that. <laughs> and what do you do uh, this morning? I was working all the morning, but I meeting for my work. Okay. 
it's difficult to 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 start the day with him because uh, <laughs> uh, always he 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 has uh, he he wants to to sleep and after that uh, I I I I went to to the uh, oh I I I did exercise uh, for uh, forty minutes. And after that, I take a breath, took a breath, uh, and took a shower too, and went. Oh. Okay. Um. And you, what do you do in your last vacation? Uh, my vacation. I I do in in the party in the family uh, in my house in in the in November in December in the meeting in the family of the house of my grandpa and um, um, uh, no not a bit no no mountain <laughs> so far uh, um, that's that's right in Saturday night with my friend I I did a dinner and then I I I went to sleep at the at the eleven. I think it was at, at, at like eleven. Okay. What what did you usually uh, think? Uh, no, what did you usually uh, doing uh, for the 3 p.m. every day? I, uh, I usually you I take usually a nap. I think I usually do my work to that hour and in some days uh, take a cup of coffee. Okay, that's good. I love the coffee. <laughs> uh, do you like the coffee? Yes, yes I do. It's a third. Okay, another question for me. Um, okay. I saw, I heard many of you asking and answering questions and trying to use and using the past tense and the past continuous, which is excellent. I, I, it's very good. Um, only we want to make sure, I, still a little focus in using sentences to make questions, okay? I, and this is for the Spanish translation, for the idea. We need to change because in Spanish, it's very easy. Oh, you went... Uh, on Saturday, or uh, you had dinner, uh, or, or uh, you cooked. Y yes, we understand, but it's not the correct way to ask the question. Remember, always in English, always, always for questions is an obligation to use an auxiliary. There are two auxiliaries for the past. We use did, and we can use the verb to be, was or were. 
does anybody know the difference when we use did or when we use was or were for asking questions? David, go ahead. No, yes. Basically, in Spanish, I think that the way as we make the, the question, basically, we make the sentence, but when we say the question, it's like the way when we say the, the, the question. But in English, is very different because we change it. We use an auxiliary as you told us, the past, well, in that case, the, the past of the verb to be or the auxiliary in past, that is this. Okay, good. Does anybody know why we use did or why we use the verb to be? What, what is the difference when we use them in the question? Teacher, I don't know if you, what, you use did when it is a yes or no question. Okay, can anybody answer, Vanessa? Do we use did for yes or no questions? Not necessary. Okay, all right. Th that is correct. David's answer is correct. It's not necessary for only just no questions. But did, um, so that we are clear, the difference between them is we use did for actions, specifically actions. Did you cook? Where did you go? What did you watch? Okay. Who did you see? These are for actions. We use verb to be for different, always in the past, that was or were, but in the past for locations, for professions, or for descriptions, okay? So Camila, if you remember, Camila cooked ribs, okay? She's, I, I, it's ribs, right? That's what she said, yes, okay. She cooked ribs, okay? So. When I ask for action, then is did. Ah, uh, where did you cook? Or who did you cook for? Or who, for all of the actions is with did, okay? But, okay, if I ask for location, for example, where, okay? The, the place, ah, no did. Here is where were you, okay? If I ask for a description, where? the ribs delicious or how were the ribs what were the ribs like this is for descriptions okay so we use the verb to be for descriptions for locations okay and for professions but the ribs don't have a profession so it's not for them but for the others yes but we can use it for the people okay so okay. to be clear the verb to be, was or were, is for locations, descriptions, and professions. Okay, the verb uh, did is for actions or activities. In this moment, I would like you to put into the chat three questions. One question with did, one question with it was and one question with were okay now is your decision if you want to use wh or not if you want to use what where when it's okay if you only want to ask uh directly which is the the question at the beginning only with did did you were you was he was she it's okay. Remember, when you begin in English, when you begin the question with an auxiliary, this is a yes, no question. It's not important the auxiliary, but if you begin with an auxiliary, the answer is yes or no. If you begin with WH, the answer is an explanation. So in this moment, please write three questions in the chat. Ah, there we go. Is the first one from Romulo. Okay, what did you do yesterday? Excellent, it's correctly. You wrote it correctly, good. Remember, it's three, one with did, one with was, and one with were. Excellent, Vanessa, are you single? Mm -hmm. 
good, Isa, for the description, yes? Mm -hmm. Right. David, yes, were you tired? Right, Cesar is for the verb to be, is for a uh, description, okay, for a profession, or for a location, for the place. Were you in La Gran Villa? Were you in La Libertad? This for the location is the three description, profession, location. Are you busy right now? Exactly. Okay. When did you travel to the USA? Were you tired? Yes. Good. Did you drink wine tonight? Okay, Fabiola. Good. Good, Ramon. Mm -hmm. Did you do your homework? Excellent, Claudia. Okay. Let me see. Huh. Interesting. I do not see from Olga. Or Jader or Omi. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, have, I don't see a question from Orlando. Let me see. Orlando, Orlando, Orlando. No, no question. Mm -hmm. Did you speak English? Very good. And Blanca? I don't see Blanca. Okay. Ah, there's Olga. Okay. Did you do it? Ah, okay. Romulo, please help uh, Olga correct that question. That question is not correct from Olga. Please help her correct it. Where did you go yesterday? Which school did you study? Okay. Good, Jader. Good, Arturo. Okay, those are the other ones. Okay. Omni, were you studying on salary? Good. Where were you born, Fabiola? Very nice. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I don't think I see. Did you go to to bed early? The, the idea, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking. Camila, I don't see any questions from Camila. Let me see. Mm, Fabi, Claudia, Vanet, Cami. Did you? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. We can pause right there, kind of. Just send the last one if you have or you're writing, only send it, okay. Very good. The idea is correct. We have, okay, did you do, did you prepare the lunch? Okay, okay, Omni, good Omni, thank you. Did you watch the movie yesterday? Okay, very good. And the important is that almost all of them, only for one, but almost all of them are correct. The important is that you read and you observe them because in the readings, you can see that is always the same structure, is the same formula. It's not important if it's the verb to be. Olga, where did you go last night? Correct, very good, Olga. It's not important if it's the verb to be or the verb did. The structure is the same form. WH, auxiliary, person, and then the complement. The complement maybe is the verb or the complement maybe is the description, but is you finish in the same format. Okay. Okay. The, the last question that Jather has, can somebody please help correct the last question in the chat? That one is almost correct, but not exactly correct. Look at the question. Let's help. Let's correct that question. We need that one. Okay, David has one form. Good, David. This is one form to correct. Okay, there's another form with did, and the other one was with ing. Okay, Vanessa, very good. It's a different form. So it's not necessary, only one form is correct. You can see were you working yesterday? Where did you work? today is the two use the verb work but is in different forms okay now 
we're going to take just a moment and make sure that it's clear, okay? And we usually use many times time words when we are describing or using the past tense, okay? So we use very commonly the word while and when. While is usually for an ing, okay? While for the time is, ah, while I was, and then the ing, while I was watching TV, while I was having lunch, okay? If you can see, while is normally for long actions. In this case, we use past continuous. But when is normally for short actions. So we use the simple past. If you say when, uh, then is only the simple past. If you use the word while, you're going to use the ing. Okay. It, any questions in this part? Yeah. Okay. So then let's take a look a little bit back so that it's clear. Okay. So here we can see examples. Okay. Simple past. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. It's simple. It's not ing because the action is not continuing. Now, what we're going to do is tomorrow we still have class, okay? Tomorrow, because we didn't have class on Monday. Normally, we don't have mm -hmm. class on Friday, but tomorrow, yes. So tomorrow, we are going to continue with this topic of past continuous and simple past and using and making sure that we understand how to use it correctly. Uh, for today, are there any questions? No. No question, teacher. Okay, good. Re remember, today we finish lesson one. So please, in the platform, complete lesson one. That way you don't accumulate a lot and a lot of work. So today we finish lesson one. Try to complete lesson one. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. 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 Well, I yeah. Okay. Okay. Only no problem. Good. All right. Okay. Have a great night. I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.